Hi everyone, welcome back to Greybeard Zoning. It's Monday the 26th of February 2024. Back at Anfield Road for another update on the progress. Um, you can just see on the ceiling section they've got the first three panels up. So that's coming along. I don't see anyone around there to carry on doing any more yet. Both platforms are down. Just to my left, the heavy lifter is back, so I'm guessing that will be needed to um, lift the uprights up in place by the end of the walls. We're going to get the drone up in a while also, take a look if we see anything else. If you like what you see, click like, share, subscribe. I will try and do some ground footage and merge it with the drone footage as normal. Seems to be a popular way. So without further ado, let's get the drone up. Welcome back everyone, we're airborne. I think we're going to start to the right and see how well with that cladding they're coming along with. So without further ado, let's fly over there. Wind's starting to get up a little bit, but should be okay. We're about 50 meters at the moment, so. We'll go around. I don't want to get too close to these guys because they are in a very tight, confined space and they don't need drones being a bit of a, an issue. So you've got to respect the job they're doing, that's for certain. Uh, it's making a difference already, isn't it? You can see the gaps covered up right in the corner I think they're just filling in filling in filling in those gaps at a narrow wrist and then making their way down and I'll probably do that last top section at the very last but let's get down to the ground level for a better view and welcome to the first ground for today we're just round by the main stand and so look at that cladding right in the corner done all that back section with space in the main stand and right in the corner also so just gotta do that gapping in between right up the middle and then right at the top there's two sections to be done also so that's how it's looking Terry pick us down but there's somebody there oh, gone now but just a few more panels to go on with the cladding And as you saw by the ground footage, the cherry picker is down, so I was allowed to get in closer. There's nobody around, so just have that better look. And it was worth it, to be fair, that the cherry picker is down. Because if it wasn't, I wouldn't have got that close. You know, you've got to, you've got to respect them, you've got to stay out of their way. They're just going to have a look behind, I think that building is like a substation. Um, and you can see the guys there, the land... To right landscapes, I believe they've planted all the way down there now. So, and there you have it. Those guys have been really busy, and the conditions is a lot better down this side than they are at the bottom of Anfield Road. But the landscape part also is coming along nicely. Coming back out. I'm just going to turn around quickly. Um, have a look on that shoulder. Where all those like clips are. There. And you can just make out the first bit of capping. It's been put in place. These walls are a little bit narrower than the main stand wall so but either way it's a nice finish to the top of the brickwork but we'll go down to ground level again because 
they were working under that um working near the entrance should i say putting some of the like ceiling ceiling sections on so we'll get back to the ground level see if we can catch some of the action welcome back to the ground footage as you can see the end of the walls the uprights are now in place there so i'm guessing the heavy lift has been down here first to help complete these walls and put in those uprights and it looks really neat now being completed off like that and as you can see forward those platforms are now going up in the air because they've got some more panelling on on board to help with the sheeting yeah i think the platform's okay mate you don't need to jump around on it unless she's got trouble with that platform I'm not certain, but we'll come back to them. I think oh, the, the guys are on their way up now. Put another piece of the puzzle in place on that ceiling. It's not bad flying weather today, so it's pretty good flying with the drone, which is good. Those guys have got that panel in their hands, we're ready. So we are getting wind noise with the ground footage. And that's how they're doing it. Another piece of the ceiling. They're in place. Leave them there, get on with it, back in the air with the drone. And as you can see on the ground footage, they're just putting another panel in place. So it's a good to capture that. We'll carry on going to the left. Um, we're just loading up another piece there by the looks of it. I guess they're using both platforms then, um, are they? Or just the one? And up goes another piece. I'm not going to drop the drone down because we've already seen put one in place from the ground footage. So but those guys put that piece on, carry on going towards the left. Heavy lift of his back. And by the looks of that, they're continuing with the uprights at the end of the wall. So what we're going to do, we're going to join GB on the ground for some footage of them lifting the upright into place. Just join me on the uh, ground again, just shoulder, I'm lifting one of the, um, the uprights. So we'll stay with these guys a little bit. I'll put this one in place. I knew they'd have to have that head lifted back to do this job. Definitely. There must be some weight in them babies, I'm telling you. That machine makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks fantastic. A little bit more.
And that's how easy it looks. Right and hurry in place, pretty much secure. Back in the air with the drone. And as you saw by the footage, <laughs> that machine just made it look so simple and so easy. But it's looking really, really complete now. The ends of the walls are looking brilliant. Looks like there's another capping stone to go on the end there also a little tiny one I think he's got it I think he's lifted it already so we'll stay with these guys a little bit longer put that final coping stone shall I say in place I'm getting confused with capping coping this is a coping stone. I still think there's a couple more uprights to do further down in there. I think they might be the last, I'm not certain. Um, yeah, just there, I believe, is it? Yeah, I think that's the last one. And those guys on the roof there are just carrying on putting those clips in right towards the back of the underneath section Anfield Road and we'll go and have a look how far with the road they are because that has got to be complete by the time Wednesday's game comes around with Liverpool playing Southampton so there we have it, it's coming down that final section there, the tarmac by the Shankly gates there. And that section also is just a little bit of tidying up by the looks of that, I think. Yeah, the jet washing down also. Just look, I'm just looking at that green like tape around the forever stones, is it? I'm not sure what that's for. You can just see it going all down there also. To make it out on the screen, that green tape. I'm not sure what that indicates, to be honest. But we'll go down ground level one more time and have a closer look from a different angle. We're just by the Shankly gates and they're doing that little straight section by the M there coming straight down towards me and tarmac a bit further to the right tarmac there also by the looks of that. I'm guessing that section there where you see the digger bucket, that'll probably be, um, I'm guessing that's going to be block haven, but I'm not 100% certain, so keep my eyes on this. This has got to be done by Wednesday because Liverpool, Southampton, the FA Cup match, so this has got to be done probably tomorrow and maybe cleaned up on Wednesday just before the game kicks off at night. Just on the shoulder at the top there, sorry about that. Putting the rest of those metal like clips in, ready for the capping to go on. So yeah, if you like what you saw, like, share, subscribe. We're going to finish off this video with the drone footage. Back to you in the air, GB. As you saw, really, there's not that much left to do, so this should comfortably get it all sorted and plenty of time for Wednesday. So now we're back in the air 
we'll have a quick look over the pitch. I was not expecting to see anything different, to be honest. And then we'll end the video, I believe. Congratulations to the Redman beating Chelsea. Those kids are all right, aren't they? Fantastic job. The experience and all the youth coming together to beat Chelsea. We just wanted it, didn't we? We really wanted it to together the togetherness of the team, young and oldish. They just fought like they fought like the lions, didn't they? The live birds rose above, and we, we we deserved it. I thought we really did. Just wonder what that was there. Nothing really, is it? But yeah, I think we're going to wrap this one up. One trophy in the bag. Hopefully, there's more to come this season. We give Klopp. Perfect send off. So if you like what you see, click like, share, subscribe. We're going to wrap this one up. All thanks for joining me on another update on the progress at Anfield Road. Wherever you are in the world, enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Bye for now. We'll leave Anfield in all its glory. Liverpool are League Cup champions. Get in.